thrill seekers. Uh, Christmas pulse, pulse motor build off. I've broken most of the rules, I think. You know, I've tried to comply. I've even had, you know, try to self power my little pulse motor with an AV plug on this giant cap, but uh, no joy. I can run it on, on a bank of caps for about uh, five minutes, but that's about it. But I'm not going to show you that today. What I just want to show you is my setup. Uh, I've got a rodent coil as a drive coil. I'm not using a Hall effect switch, I'm using this as a trigger coil. So it uh, induces a charge and then that goes back to my little uh, resistor. Uh, Sorry, transistor over here. Uh, I've even got a switch switch on this setup. LED, look at that. Hey, looks pretty good. Uh, the most interesting thing I find with this particular motor that I've made is this particular coil here. It's based on an idea that I got from JL Norden, um, or Nordan, I should say, uh, where he quoted a US military pattern that said if you put a when you're winding a coil, if you put another uh, wind perpendicular to the other winds that you're doing, uh, it'll counter the uh, back EMF or it will uh, you know, somewhat reduce it. I found that is actually the case. So these lumps that you see in the coil, they're actually intentional because I've got a wind going down and then I've got a lead coming back up here, then a wind going down, and then another one coming back up. And so it's always and interesting. It, it, it is very... Uh, a, a very polarized coil uh, if you try to hook something up in series with it which isn't wound the same way you will only get generation from one side also got some um, mu metal or um, nano crystalline toroids in it that i had left over from the orbo project so we'll just stack that over there at the moment and this is the magnet that's going to be generating the charge in that over here our meters we've got the current battery on our three amp hour car battery uh we've got the uh, uh voltage in the meter and the capacitors we're going to be charging and this will be the current draw from the run battery capacitors and charging are these five uh 2.5 volt 22 farad caps so we got 14 and a half volt there at 22 farad and this takes a little bit to get started so i'm just going to put you down over here because we're not using a hall effect and we're using a uh, trigger coil um it takes a bit of doing so we'll just switch the baby on and you'll see what i mean i'll just move that out of the way and we'll just move that back in give this a spin yeah, it's a bigger Jiggery pokery to get it going. Okay, we're going. Now, as this begins to spin up, you can see the current draw is quite high. That'll drop right back. Uh, I'm waiting till it gets down to about. Uh, I don't know, 400 milliamps, something like that, before I throw the charge coil under. Um, RPMs, I know that sounds about 25,000 to me, something like that. Yeah, 23,400. Not terribly worried about that, more interested in uh, getting that current draw lower. And you can do that simply by pushing the trigger coil closer to the magnet. You can hear the RPM just slightly dropped. Push that in a bit. Okay, so we're down at yeah, 300 milliamp. RPMs have dropped considerably. Um, run battery charge. That'll stay pretty stable because we're only you know, drawing 300 milliamp. Uh, and now I'm going to just throw the our coil. You can see the run current has gone up. And our caps are charging. So, you still get a bit of drag, I guess, from that generator coil, but it's not as much as, you know, some of the other ones that uh, I've, I've wound, like this big bird over here, which is about, weighs about a one and a half kilo, 
or what's that, about three pound, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting coil design. Hopefully someone can uh, make something more of it than me. But I just want to thank Russ and Tin Man for making this competition possible because, you know, it just gives everyone a focus, I think, to, uh, as many others have already said, to just get and do get in and do something and have a play with things. And, you know, you might not discover something yourself, but someone else might pick up an idea that you had and it helps their build. Incidentally, these bearings are excellent. Uh, if you see people throwing out VCRs, grab them. This is a VCR tape head bearing. Fantastic stuff. Um, but... Yeah, so get across to aac.forumco.com. Really, uh, Tim Man, I'm going to have to set you up a uh, alias for that domain because that's really hard to remember. Uh, I might just make it uh, Tim Man or something. Uh, and also get across to open hyphen source hyphen energy dot org. Uh, but that's that's my build, complete with a switch and a diode, LED and everything. And just to show you, the switch does actually work. Oh, hey, look at that. And I'm progressing. Thank you, everybody. And I look forward to learning from everyone else. Thanks, guys. Bye.